భోక్తారం యజ్ఞ తపసాం సర్వలోక మహేశ్వరం సుహృదం సర్వభూతానాం జ్ఞాత్వ మాం శాంత్యం రిక్షతి దట్స్ ద లాస్ట్ వర్స్ ఆఫ్ చాప్టర్ ఫైవ్ what it is saying is that know that i am the one who is receiving all your services and your penances and that will lead to peace where what i mean by me is the one who created the whole universe and maintains balance in it so know that all your services are coming to me and you will be peaceful all your penances are coming to me you will be peaceful that's what this verse says makes sense to me if i start thinking more trivially about the services that i render in a confined system then i would start seeing the imbalances did i get what i deserve for the service i rendered same way prayers if i'm looking for immediate benefits i'm not sure i'm going to be completely satisfied with what what i get or what i don't get so the logic makes sense but there is also a little bit of maybe philosophical understanding that is required here our services when we work we create energy and we must believe that our mental exercises the meditation and all that that also creates energy not all of the energy that is created is material laws of physics laws of thermodynamics laws of thermodynamics suggests that the first one says energy is constant in this universe but what this verse is asking us to think is that this uh energy that is metaphysical or supernatural something that is not phys- that's not material that you create from performing services and your mental exercises have to go somewhere they are not going to stay within the universe they are not part of the laws of science then you have to ask the question where do they go the answer is that they go directly to the creation the creator unfortunately asuras in the previous generations did not have access to bhagavad gita it had not been uh given by krishna yet so hiranyakashipu for example he is praying to the entity these prayers are going to to give him the boon so that he can avenge his brother's destroyer who was actually an avatar of mahavishnu varaha avatar hiranyaksha was the brother of hiranyakashipu deliberate uh, uh, 
type of contradiction there so that we understand some aspects of it so of course hiranyakashipu's uh, uh, prayers are not answered by the eventual receiver of his penances but answered by the deity brahma who gives him don't kill me here call me that i must not be destroyed by this or that or that or this uh, and eventually all that is broken so knowing and having faith that all my services all my penances are going to one entity makes it much easier for me to to lead my life without bickering about the immediate results so i get it that's the end of this chapter next one is chapter 6